there's a feeling, there's an almost undefinable quality, a presence, uh, an energy that, that Oak possesses. Strong individual, looking after lots of others as well as themselves. You'd want to be an Oak if you could choose. Oaks are really important to the environment around them. In the UK, they host over 2,000 different species of wildlife. Oaks are everyone's best friend. And oaks, certainly in, in Britain, are amongst the oldest living trees. Broad oak is the tree behind me. I've been told that it's about 640 years old. They're very recognisable as a species in the UK. We've also become more aware of their rarity and that Britain does have a particular responsibility with the high density of these big old oaks. It would be heartbreaking to imagine a world without oaks. I have 40 experimental trees dotted around the wood and I'm recording their microclimate conditions, I'm recording their acorn production each year, I'm taking canopy photos and I'm also doing a pollination experiment to uh, try and work out the sort of best pollen source for acorn production. Generally my research aim would be to suggest ways in which we could get a more regular acorn crop in the UK or at least be able to predict when we're going to get mast years. Masting is basically a reproductive strategy of oaks when you will have a year of high acorn production that will often be followed by a year or multiple years of low acorn production. So it is this sort of boom and bust approach. Oaks in the UK, they naturally regenerate quite poorly so we need a sort of understanding of uh, how we can collect more acorns, how we can ensure that we have a good supply so that we can include them in projects of regeneration. My latest love is a, a project where I collect acorns from ancient oak trees and I'm growing them on. Later this year, we're going to be working together to create a new woodland called Bearwood. Trees grown from resilient old oaks, they're likely to survive, they're likely to thrive. And that's what I hope will happen with, with the new woods that are planted here. The oldest oaks have been around for centuries and it's interesting to consider how they can help us connect to the past. There's something kind of magical about that.